Now that you've completed your adjustment columns, we're going to look at the adjusted trial balance. When we are looking at the worksheet, I want you not to look at the whole form, but each section of the worksheet. So we first did the trial balance, completed that. Then we went to the adjustments, completed those two columns. Now we're ready to do the adjusted trial balance. So let's look at the worksheet and I'm going to show you how to find the new balances of the accounts that were affected by the adjustments. All right, so I'm starting with the first one and I want you to keep your focus on each line, not the whole form. Now cash was not affected, so that means that this balance will transfer over to be a $14 debit balance on the adjusted trial balance. Accounts receivable, no change, so it's a debit balance of four. Let's look at prepaid insurance though. It had a debit balance of five. Now it had a credit adjustment here of three. Five minus three gives us two dollars. Since the five had a debit balance and the larger number, this two dollars will also be a debit balance. Plumbing supplies, debit balance of three, credited two, so three minus two gives us one, and it has a debit balance because the three is a larger number on the debit side. Plumbing equipment is no, has no change, so it's seven dollars. That is the original cost of the plumbing equipment and that never changes until we sell the item. But we have a new contra account called accumulated depreciation. Has a credit balance of five, it is adjusted with another credit of one. Since these two are credits, we're going to add them together and the, new and the new balance is $6 on the credit side. When you make an error, remember you draw one single line through it, but since you can do the worksheet in pencil, you can just erase it. I am writing in pen, so with the correction, you always put a line through it and then your initials. All right, counts payable, no change. It has a $1 credit balance. Capital, J. Frost, no change, credit balance, $12. Withdrawals, J. Frost withdrawals, no change, debit balance of $3. Plumbing fees, revenue account, no change, credit balance, $27. Rent expense, no change, debit, $4. Now let's look at salaries expense. Debit $5 and a debit of 2. Since they're both debits, we're going to add them together for a debit balance of $7. Now, we had to write some new accounts down below, so let's include those. $3 insurance expense debit, $3 on the adjusted trial balance debit. Plumbing supplies expense debited 2, $2 debit on the adjusted trial balance. Depreciation expense, plumbing equipment, debit, $1. Then salaries payable has a credit balance of $2. Now, these two columns should equal, so I'm going to draw a single ruled line. Add up the two columns. I'll start with the debits. Add it up, I get $48. Add up the credit. I get $48. When they are in balance, they equal, they are called in balance. Draw a double ruled line. Now, the purpose of this adjusted trial balance is to make sure that we have the correct balances on these accounts after the adjustments. That way, we can make sure our debits equal our credits before we do our financial statements. I want you to go through now and complete the adjusted trial balance.